What's up my friend of peoples? In this video I'm going to be showing you how to replace the big loud stock cooling board for the Ultimaker with my sleek, quiet, and small cooling board. It's much better and I'll show you why. Let's get into it. Yeah! I wanted to design something that was a drop-in replacement for the stock cooling board. Now I wanted to use two smaller fans so that they'd be quieter and get more air volume blowing across the hot stepper drivers. As you can see here my first version I ran the wires externally and I liked where I was but I wanted to be able to route the wires inside. So I cut the wires out and mounted them in so everything's nice and clean now. Now I know not every Ultimaker has a shroud that makes this much noise. But mine I think had bad bearings or they wore out or something was going on and it just squealed like a stuck pig. So I went ahead and hooked it up so you could hear the sound and I put a sound decibel meter up to it and it registered at 86 decibels. Now let's compare this to my shroud. Oh my gosh. So quiet. It's like a baby sleeping. You can even hear when I touch the fan it's so quiet. These fans only make 67 decibels worth of noise. Let's take a second and compare. The ambient noise was at 66 decibels, my cooling board was 67, and Ultimaker's was 86. That means that there's a 19 decibel difference. Now that I have a cooling board that's not as loud as a freaking elephant, I can go ahead and mount that baby up. I stole the power cord off the stock cooling board so it would be a drop-in replacement. It fits like a 3D printed glove. Here's a system check, just me turning the board on and watching the fans spool up to make sure that nothing was hitting the fans from the board side and that everything was flowing properly. And most importantly, that no nasty squealing noise is being made by the fans. They're so quiet. Thanks for watching the video, I hope you learned something. If you liked the video, please click the like button or comment down below. Also, you can follow me on Twitter or Facebook. The next project I'm working on is trying to print vibration dampeners for a FPV camera for my quadcopter. Now you can see here I'm using NinjaFlex and that's a really flexible filament so when you print pieces they end up having a lot of flexible characteristics. So really good for vibration dampening. I wasn't sure if I'd be able to print the NinjaFlex very well through my Bowden extruder that comes on the Ultimaker but I figured out the settings that allow it to print well. You just have to print really slow and kind of hot. So if you want more details on that stay tuned for my next video.